What's up everybody? Today we are getting a remodel done on our garages. We're getting the floors epoxied and putting in... Hey, what is this? It says Madison failed her test. No, she didn't fail a test. It's just an assessment to see what she already knows for what they're gonna be learning this year. So that means my kid is smart and already knows half of what she's gonna learn this year. I'm okay with that. And this portion of this video is sponsored by Prodigy. All right, so let me show you guys what Prodigy is. Prodigy is a fun video game that lets kids explore virtual worlds, complete quests, and battle friends to win rewards. And Prodigy has over 50,000 math questions from first through eighth grades. For parents, it's an easy way to encourage kids to learn and for them to learn independently. Prodigy is a role-playing game where players will create their own characters that represent them as they play and explore through the game. And there's over 150 pets to collect, which I think is the girl's favorite part of this game. All educational content is free, but there are some areas like the Dark Tower that are for members only. As they play, you'll get report cards with data on their progress, which will help you to better support them. And in the parent dashboard, it will let you set goals for them and monitor their progress as well. All right, girls aren't home right now, but I wanna let you know they really do love this game. Once I got it set up on my computer, they have both downloaded it on their phones, and apparently you can also play this at school, and I guess one of the boys in, I think Trinity's class, he has got over 40 of the pets right now, and I guess he's like the farthest in the game because they can log in during computer free time. And then I asked the girls what their favorite part of the game was, and of course it's rescuing all the animals and their pets and casting spells. And Madison's favorite pet is Trip Trop because it is part panda, part kangaroo, and part forest. Because it has panda ears, hops like a kangaroo, and has vines growing out of it. I don't know. Learn more and join today at Prodigy.com. Thanks to Prodigy for sponsoring that part of my video. Now back to our regular content. Today we have a couple of big projects going on. Um, first off, we have some people coming over today to um, work on our garage floors. So we've got some big um, renovation projects, I guess, that we want to get done. And the one thing we want to do in the garages is have the floors redone and um, do the epoxy on them. So we've been wanting to do that for a while, so people are going to come over today and do that. And while we wait for them, I'm going to work on cleaning up the house. It looks like the kids left their microphone on. Leave it to my kids to do that. All right, guys. Everybody for the uh, garage just showed up, so I gotta come open the garage door for them. <sighs> Last look at the garage, guys. <sighs> All right, got everything. Got a nasty floor. That's what we're gonna be swapping out today. We're gonna put epoxy down, so we'll see how it looks. Hopefully, it's awesome, which it should be. All right, guys, uh, they are taking a break, so we figured we'd come out here and spy on what they're doing. Anyways, looks pretty good. Got our mess out here. Look at this. That looks so cool. So we went with some blue, so we'd have a little bit of color, but I think it's gonna be pretty cool. Man. And you get to park your car in there. I, know. I almost don't want to, because I might. I feel like I'm gonna mess it up. You probably will mess it up. Whew. Anyway, what I'm impressed with are those shoes over there. Whoa. <laughs> Duct tape shoes. <laughs> those are so cool. Man. You should get you a pair of them. I know. <laughs> All right, well that's our garage. Uh, it's gonna look the same when it dries, except it'll be dry, and we can drive on it. And over on the side where it wasn't painted, we're gonna go ahead and put some cabinets over there. But while we wait for that to get finished, um, we are out here in the backyard. We've got some cleaning up um, to do. Another project we need to work on is our water fountain. This thing is a pain in the butt. Every time it rains and the ground gets soaked, it shuts off, and then it doesn't work for like a week, and now it hasn't worked for like a couple weeks. It's just getting all nasty and green. But what I think has happened is when they put this in, I don't think that they wrapped the wire, uh, spliced it together correctly. So I think water's getting in there and shorting it out every time. So I think this has to be like ripped out to be able to fix the problem that we've been having. I don't know. Anyways, the kids are always leaving stuff out here. We've got a scrunchie and some Halloween eyeballs. And of course there's always scooters that need put away. The garage is finally done, so let me open that up and we'll show you what it looks like. All right, guys, well, there is the finished project. Everything is done. Looks super good. The only problem was these. Uh, these were supposed to be 38 inches across, which would mean to be 36 inches on the inside, but they gave us the wrong size. They're 36 inches, and so a lot of our stuff, like our train sets, Halloween decorations, stuff like that, will not fit inside, so they're all gonna have to be up top. I do have to hook the water softener back up. So I'll do that and then start moving stuff over. All right guys, so I was putting the water softener back up. Uh, anyways, I 
opened the release valve when I should not have released <laughs> the release valve. And so now my cord's all wet. Uh, I had to go shut off the water main. Uh, now I gotta dry this out because this floor's only been sitting for a few days. So it's probably not supposed to be flooded. All right, I gotta clean it up. There's all my water mess. Pushing it all out of here with the squeegee. Uh, I think it's all dry. I used a bunch of towels to dry everything, especially these cracks, because they were all full of water. I'm gonna dry out uh, whatever's left over there. All right, time to uh, start filling these cabinets up. All right guys, so it's been a few days, but I did want to show you the other garage since we've got it mostly cleaned up now. So this is where we've got all our, our electric scooters, Trinity's motorcycle, bikes, some power wheels. We've got all of our chairs and tables that we use and stuff over here. And then a lot of you guys have been asking what do we do with all of our Halloween stuff because we have so much Halloween stuff. We fill our room, lots of big stuff. Everyone thinks that we have storage units, but no, everything that we have inside our house, our entire haunted house thing is this thing of shelves right here and then that one box. That is everything that goes in our house except for we have some skeletons in our closet. I'll show you those really quick. All right, so in this cabinet right here, we have got, like I said, some skeletons in our closet. So we got the uh, lava tiles and some skeletons, stuff that just wouldn't go in boxes. But other than that, that's it. Um, I mean, everything's not perfectly cleaned up. You know, we still got a little mess on some of that, but we haven't even used all of our shelves yet. So that's a good thing. All right, well, I actually have an appointment I need to get to. Um, I have a follow-up appointment to get some of the veins treated on my legs. Um, I had the big veins treated a few months ago, but now we're taking care of some of the smaller um, spider veins that are on my shin, on my uh, right leg. So I'm gonna head to that appointment um, and I will see you guys when I get back. And while Cassie's gone, I get to clean the house. Cause look what the girls did when they left for school and one of them spilled their hot chocolate and just left it lean over here. So I gotta clean that up. All right, let's go ahead and put that in the sink. Oh, what in the world? I'm just kidding guys. So we're gonna do a video with some pranks and I actually got this the other day and pranked Trinity with it. She was sitting by my computer and I had it sitting over there and I had Cassie go over and yell at her and be like, ah, oh, what are you doing Trin? You made a mess over here. She's like, I didn't do it. And then Madison went over there and yelled at her for it because I had Madison in it on it. And then Madison picked it up and Trin thought it was funny. Anyways, uh, so we have this prank. Um, I think most of these pranks are gonna be on me, but we also have one of these. It's humongous. Let me see if it works. All right guys, I'm gonna try out this giant whoopee cushion. See what happens. All right, here we go. Here we go. Ah! Oh. Man, that was pretty good. <laughs> Sounds better than the little ones, because the little ones just This one, it's like full on. Anyways. Um, let me show you what else I got. So I also got these things, um, a couple cans of chips and popcorn. They're kind of like our other thing of chips. I'll show you it. So we have this one, delicious chips. Let me open it up. See if I can do this on camera. It stink. So that's basically what those are, but the girls don't know about them yet. So we should get a good reaction out of those. All right, I'm not really gonna clean the house. So we'll just wait for Cassie to get back. All right, I am back home. I had a quick, easy appointment. This is what my leg looks like. You can't tell much, obviously, but they treated those veins again that were right here on my shin. But now it's time to let my leg heal up. Thanks for watching, you guys, and we will see you next time. Bye.